Now I will explain everything that we will learn on this Google Looker Studio tutorial. Let's say that we want to create this Google Analytics for dashboard. First, I need to connect my data. And for that, I need to understand the concept of connectors or integrations. Also, maybe I don't want to learn anything. I don't want to listen to Juan. Simply, you can copy and paste free templates from our template gallery. Sometimes your Looker Studio dashboards will be slow. I will show you why they are slow and how you can make them faster. And sometimes you don't have a connector available or you need to prepare or transform your data. So we can connect our Google Sheet data and visualize it on Looker Studio. And if you are a developer or you are more technical, you can connect your data warehouse like Google BigQuery on Looker Studio as well. In the second model, I will show you how to create different charts. And for that, I need to first understand the concept of metrics and dimensions. With metrics and dimensions, I can create a chart called a scorecard or a plain metric, also time series, so I can find patterns or trends over time, tables where I can visualize multiple metrics and dimensions, and it is the most common visualization, and the favorite for marketers, funnel. And finally, community visualizations. Okay, there are way more uh, types of visualizations on Looker Studio, and I will show you all of them, but if Looker Studio doesn't have an available visualization that you want to use, you can also go to community visualizations or charts that were created by developers, not by the Looker Studio team. In the third module, we will make our dashboards interactive. If you pay attention to this HubSpot dashboard, you can see that I can change the date range, I can use drop downs, I can use filters, search bars. So, how to make our Looker Studio dashboards interactive? First, we will add date ranges and all the possibilities of date ranges that I can use on Looker Studio. I can use drop downs to filter my data. I can use sliders to control the ranges of the metrics. I can use buttons. So when someone clicks on this button, maybe I can share this report. This is one of the actions I can do with buttons. And in the fourth model, we will see filters. If you see this GA4 dashboard, we are not displaying all the traffic of the website. I am only this displaying traffic coming from AI search engines like ChatGPT, Gemini, Perplexity, and DeepSeek, as you can see it. I will show you how to filter your data so you only show the data that you want to see and that it is clean in this way. Now, you also want to create your own formulas, your own metrics. So we will create our own fields. First, we will understand the concept of formats. There are different formats of data. We have dates, we have percentages, we have currencies, we have numbers, we have text, URLs, geographical data, and so on. Also, we need to understand functions, and it is learning Google Sheets. If you know how to operate a, a mathematical formula on Google Sheet, then you already know how to do it on Google Looker Studio as well. We can create our own formulas or custom fields. If you want to create your own conversion rate, your hook rate, or maybe your CTR and so on, we can create our own formulas. Let's say you want to calculate your ROAS, CAC, MER, and any metric that explains the marketing ROI. Also, we want to create conditionals. So based on these values or based on the behavior or the performance of this particular metric, I want to tag my data in a certain way. The example that we will do is depending on the behavior of customers, like the number of purchases, the value of these purchases, and the recency of these purchases, we will classify and segment our customers. This is conditionals. And also we will use regex or regular expressions. Regular expressions seem like daunting, hard, technical for mathematicians. They are very simple. Think of regex as formulas for text. As you use mathematical formulas, for numbers, regular expressions are formulas, but for text. Let's say that I have a full text and I want to find the word Potter or Potter metrics. That's what regex is for. And finally, I can use parameters. Parameters is to make my dashboard interactive by inputting my own data in my Looker Studio dashboard. In the sixth model, I will say this is the best feature of Looker Studio is blending your data together. If you see this table, in the same table, I am, I am combining Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook data so I can know my total followers, my total ad spend, my total impressions, and so on. I could combine my GA4 data for traffic with my Shopify data for sales, with my ad spend data from Meta and from Google, all together in the same view. This is important. This is an important step to calculate the ROI of our marketing. 
for blending our data on Looker Studio, we need to understand join operators like left joins, right joins, full array joins, cross joins, and so on. You will see it is super simple to understand. Also, we will have problems with our data like null values. I will show you how to handle them and how to solve them. Also, you want to combine your Google Sheet data. If you have budgets or you have goals in a Google Sheet, we can also bring it to our tables on Looker Studio and blend them together with our actual performance. And sometimes data will be missing and I will show you a formula to handle this issue. Finally, in the seven model, I will show you how to customize the styling of our Looker Studio dashboards. So I will show you how to make your dashboards white label with your own logos, brands, colors, images, uh, with different themes, with different sizes of your reports and so on. Also, we can use reference lines so the user can understand the context in a time series, for instance, and conditional formatting depending on a particular value, as you can see in this dashboard here. Let me show you. As you can see in this particular dashboard, depending on the value of my data source, I will have a different uh, color. And I don't need to repeat all over my design. I can simply copy and paste the styling and we can create something like this. Finally, we can share our Looker Studio dashboards the way we want. So we can use links or we can schedule emails or we can use PDFs or we can create a draft version. Actually, I can have a change log of my changes on Looker Studio dashboards. I can see the historic changes and I can embed these Looker Studio reports in my website. With all of this, with eight models, you will be an expert on Looker Studio. I will see you. I will see you in our lessons.